everyone welcome back to my channel if it's your first time watching my videos my name is Andrea and I make fashion and beauty and blogs and travel videos every single week so consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos but for today I have a fall inspired look I've been seeing a lot of fall looks out there so I got inspired to do a fall myself i'm wearing a little bit of a fallish color shirt so let's see what we come up with i'm going to be using the game of thrones urban decay palette it's such a beautiful palette the colors in here are amazing and summer is over you guys unfortunately but now fall comes around these colors are so beautiful and they're gonna look so so beautiful in the fall and winter time so i'm very excited to start playing with these colors so. all right you guys so starting off i already prepped my skin and i put some foundation on and some concealer i did my eyebrows if you guys want to see what kind of foundation i use and how i do my eyebrows i have a video that I did recently and showing you guys how I do it and what products I use so go check that video out for now let's start off with the eyes I'm going to be starting off with House of Lannister this color right here just to prep the eyes right here it is a beautiful light color and I'm just going to be putting that everywhere All right, next I'm gonna be using the Nymeria. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This is a beautiful brown color that I'm gonna be putting on the crease of my eye. I'm gonna take the Lannister Red, beautiful burgundy color. Uh, I guess it's a burgundy, it's like a burgundy reddish color. I'm not sure what kind of color is this, but it's beautiful, beautiful, I feel like that would be such a great color to put a great color to put on the end of the eye and we're gonna make it look a little bit smoky but without the black just using browns and reds and autumn colors all right you guys grabbing a fluffy brush we're gonna go with house of Lannister we're gonna grab a little bit of that and we're going to blend everything together just the outside part. No sweeping motion. Let's grab a Lannister red again and we're gonna put this on the lower part of our lid. Okay, so I'm using a flat little brush, just like this one. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray just to get it wet um, in order for me to pick up one of the glittery shades. And I'm gonna be using this glittery shade right here, it's called Hard Home, and this I'm gonna be putting on the lid. Such a pretty color. This is the first time I used this color, by the way. But definitely, if you want to grab more product, you have to spray your brush. If you don't have study spray, you could always dab with a little bit of water. Oof, there's a lot of fallout, you guys. Oh man. I'm gonna have to go back and put um some foundation on top of this because there's definitely a lot of fallout from this shadow moving on Lannister red again and we're just gonna blend just the tip the tip of each corner of where the glitter is at just to try to blend everything in so just the front and I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and just put it on the cheeks just to cover up some of that fallout. Um, not crazy about it, but now I know that I'll just do my foundation last. 
Moving on, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And of course, using the Stila, this is Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. Lashes, I'm gonna be using the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I'm gonna be putting on some falsy eyes. I'm gonna be putting on some falsy eyelashes. I put the mascara on and I put on the false eyelashes. Let's continue with the rest of the face. And we are going to do a little bit of shading on cheeks. Where is my palette? Be right back. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay like I always use. And I'm gonna be putting this on the lower part of my cheeks. For the cheeks, I'm going to be using the Chantecaille blush, and I'm really liking this blush so far. Hopefully it works for the fall look. I think it will. It gives it like a nice rosy color to your face. Um, not too harsh, but you could always add a darker tone if you feel like it. I just love this packaging, it's so easy. You know, you don't have to carry a blush and a brush. It works for me. For the lips, all right, I'm gonna be trying something different just because it's fall and dark colors are coming, coming around. I'm gonna be trying the Jeffree Star Karma and this is pretty dark. I don't use colors like this anymore in the 90s maybe, but not anymore, but for the sake of this video and me trying to get used to different colors, I'm gonna wear it. If it looks bad, guys, I'll take it off and put a different color, but let's hope it works. So let's see. I shall line my lips with a liner. Line my lips with a liner. Where is it? A pencil by NYX and this is in the color ever which is my go-to color I love this color let's see let's light it up for the color I don't know if this even matches my eyes but let's go try whoa you guys, this is really dark. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit on my lips and then I'm just gonna spread it. Um, it's definitely a color that I need to get used to This is definitely not my color. It's definitely different. So we're here to play with makeup. So why not right? It's very matted. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some lip gloss to see if maybe it'll change the color a little bit Let's put A little bit of candy drip on these lips to see if it makes it Look a little better you guys this isn't brown. This is green Green color. Let's see. I hate when your wand gets like the lipstick. Then it turns the product a different color. All right. So this is what it looks like with the gloss. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like? Do you guys like this look? I feel a little bit weird with this color. This is definitely not what I would pick, but I don't know. Let me know down below to see what you guys think about this color. Would you guys wear this color? Um, not sure if I would wear this color. Maybe with... Mm, 
No, I gotta be honest with you. I don't feel like this color looks good. I mean, I don't know. I maybe I have to get used to it. Maybe I have to wear it out. Maybe because it's so nice outside, it's still warm outside. It doesn't feel like fall yet. Maybe fall time. No, I am keeping it 100% real with you guys. This is not. If you guys like it, wonderful. That's great. Give it a try. I hope that inspired you, but this color gotta go. Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable. I don't. So, off you go. By the way, I'm using the um, makeup remover wipes. This is by Neutrogena. Neutrogena? 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 Neutrogena. Comes with a little case, which I love. This is the only wipes I use. I've tried other wipes, and they don't really work for me as well. So, these are the ones I use. Alright, let's try this one more time. Going back with the color Ever from NYX pencil, which I really, really, really like this color. Yes, I like this color. What do you guys think? Does it look better? The look with this color. I like it. I feel comfortable. I could go out like this. You know? Again, with the Jeffree. The Jeffree lip gloss. Again, color Candy Drip. look it is very fallish I love the eyes very glittery I hope you liked it as well shimmer let's not forget the shimmer let's put a little bit of shimmer no apples oh, not apples but like our cheekbone up here and our nose just to give it a little bit of glow enjoyed I hope you like it um, very easy of course I only use a few colors and I change my lips which I don't normally use I try the brown color no green color not for me maybe not yet maybe in a few months when it's like freezing outside and I am pale who knows maybe it'll look better I'm not sure, but this is it for this look, you guys. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and ring that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you next time.